Hi Libras, I'm here today to do your monthly love reading for February 2020. I hope everyone is having a blessed day so far. So let's just go ahead and get started in you guys' reading. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Spirit Guides. Thank you, Ancestors. Please come in and give me a precise love reading for the zodiac sign of Libra <clears throat> for February 2020. Thank you, Spirit. So you have the sun, three of wands, will of fortune, five of cups, two of swords, the emperor, hanged woman, and a six of cups. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the ace of pentacles. Okay, give me just a moment here, Libra. Okay, um, I'm seeing someone feeling a lot of sadness, a lot of regret, a lot of remorse here with the Five of Cups. This person, or either you or the Cross Watcher, is feeling a lot of regret, a lot of remorse. They're hurting here. I see whoever it is in this energy is in the stalemate position. Like they're not really doing any movement. They're just guarded right now at the moment. Whoever this person is, is someone from your past here. You have the Six of Cups or you could have children with this person. Or this could be someone that you have known since childhood. But... Whoever this is, because I'm going to do your energy and I'm going to do the cross watchers. Whoever it is that's feeling this regret and this remorse, they're in a stalemate energy with the two of swords and the hanged woman here. But while they're in this energy, they're level, leveling up to the emperor. Okay. They're past the page, the knight and the king. Like this is the highest. The emperor and the empress is the highest. So they level up to someone stable and committed to be in a relationship with. This person here, you know, while they're in this stalemate energy, they're making a decision to come towards you here with the three of wands and the wheel of fortune to offer you something stable here with the ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. To offer you something stable here, offer you something committed, committed with the sun. They want to reconcile with the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups also represents reconciliation. But let me pull... Um, the cross watchers energy libra just to see give me libra's cross watchers energy give me their energy spirit cross watchers energy for libra two cards fell out for them which is the seven of coins and the magician so this person is trying to manifest something here this person is trying to yeah they're manifesting something it's not trying they're manifesting something with the seven of coins which is seven of pentacles and other decks in the magician so this person is definitely trying to manifest something here let me see what it is that they have going give me a little bit more spirit Queen of Cups. So you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Doesn't necessarily have to be. But this person is very emotional right now. This person is very much in their feelings. Trying to manifest something here. They could be praying. Doing a lot of Law of Attraction. Could possibly be doing some type of dark magic as well. Okay. You have a seven... They have the Seven of Cups. Your cross watcher has the Seven of Cups. 
the chariot. Eight of swords. This person is stuck. The moon. The nine of coins. Ace of cups. Five of swords. Ten of swords. Their overall energy is the ten of staffs, which is one. So the ten of staffs at the bottom of the deck. This person's feeling a whole lot of pain, a whole lot of burden, a whole lot of stress, feeling defeated. They're all in their head thinking about you here, Libra. They're hiding that very well, but not only hiding that, they're manifesting, coming forward to bring you their offer. This person is hiding behind this single energy here. They could be doing very well financially also. So they're hiding behind their success, but they're very much in pain behind the loss of you. And I see this person coming towards you in, with a chariot. They can live a distance from you, but doesn't necessarily have to be. You guys can live in the same town. But I do see this person coming towards you um, to offer you this cup of love, to offer you this Ace of Cups here. To offer you this new beginning in love. See it better with the light. Yeah. Okay, let me get your energy when this person comes back, Libra. Give me their energy spirit when Libra, uh, when the cross watcher comes back to Libra. What will be Libra's energy towards the cross watchers? And excuse the, if you hear that noise outside my home, that's the trash truck, so. All right. Give me Libra's energy, Spirit. Give me Libra's energy. So your energy, you have a seven of pentacles, six of pentacles. You could be manifesting something as well. Three of cups, vision, page of cups, the emperor, six of cups. Yeah, this is someone from your past. Ten of cups. So, at the bottom of the clarifying deck, you have the Eight of Swords as well. And they have the Eight of Swords. So, I feel like, basically, both of you guys, Aries, are mirror, not Aries. Why did I say that? You guys could very well be dealing with the Aries, because I don't know where that came from. But I'm sorry, I mean Libra. You guys are mirroring each other, because I see you manifesting a reconciliation, a date, bringing them an offer coming back to reconcile and have this Ten of Cups relationship. And I see you are the one that's in the Emperor energy. Okay. And I see you want to bring balance between you two. So you could have been the one Libra, you know, that messed up. And this person is feeling hurt and, you know, burdened and stressed and hiding behind their single independent energy like they're doing fine. Because they're doing very well successfully. You know, but I do see them moving forward, coming towards you with an offer, or you guys moving forward to a new beginning in love. But they're feeling burdened, they're stressed, they're hiding behind that success and that single energy. I don't see you so much in pain, I just see you feeling stuck, trying to find your way on how to go with this Libra. Give me messages for Libra. Give me love messages for Libra. Give me love messages for Libra. Love messages for Libra. separation time apart from your partners on the horizon horizon so you're feeling the separation you're feeling it or they're feeling it okay i'm not gonna take these they all just came out i'm not gonna take those separation so like i said it, it is a separation here and you're feeling it you both are feeling it not just you you both are you in the cross watcher oh my god all these cards want to come out couple more for Libra. Engagement. Your love life is extending to a higher level of commitment. Exactly. Someone is coming back bringing an offer here. It looks like you for this Ten of Cups. But, I mean, this is energy, so it can always 
you know, it, it can be your cross watcher instead of you. Because this is a general reading, but just take it how it resonates. Give me one more spirit. Too many cards. The spirit has a lot to tell you, Libras. unrequited love there is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going so due to this separation and this unrequited love of course you guys are in that energy right now at this moment but from that will become will come an engagement you can be moving to a deeper level in commitment or you can actually be proposing to this person or vice versa the cross watcher could be proposing to you okay let me just get an archangel message Archangel message for the sign of Libra. Archangel message for the sign of Libra. Okay. I'm going to take that one. And it says moon cycles. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize upon this cycle. So whatever this person here is manifesting, it's working. It's definitely working. You guys are coming together. In the month of February, I do see you guys reconciling and coming together possibly for an engagement. Okay, if this reconcile, if this resonates, I'm sorry, <laughs> if this resonates with you guys, Libras, don't hesitate to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, be blessed.